Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Orbital Potato, and this is Trans Ocean 2 Rivals. Thank you very, very much to the publishers, Astrogen, for giving me a copy of this game. Holy cow, I've played around with it a little bit. I haven't uh, delved too deep into it, although I have done the tutorial. I know how to play, and can I just say, this game is stunning. This game is amazing. Um, so just a, a quick overview in case you care. There's options there, it doesn't really matter. Um, you, you create a profile. You choose from a whole bunch of portraits. This looks exactly like me, so uh, you know they've really captured the, uh, the amount of obnoxiousness that I have in my face. You see those eyes? You know, those are really obnoxious eyes. They're my eyes, right? Whole bunch of different characters here. Uh, that you can choose from. Although that also looks kind of like me. Yeah. That weird look with the kind of bit of facial hair looks also very like me. I joke. No. I, I think that this guy looks like me. Looks like an absolute twat. I like to think that I'm an absolute twat as well. Uh, wow. What a what a character. Uh, you also get to you also get to choose the company name. Um, so there you go. I've chosen my company name, the Potato Shipping Inc. Pretty basic stuff, and you also get a variety of logos to choose from. I chose that because I thought it looked most like a potato. Maybe you don't, who knows. Uh, you can also choose the color scheme for your boats, which is kind of nice, the ship color. And uh, you can see a whole bunch of boats, which I must say look absolutely fantastic. They really, really do. Look at these boats. It is absolutely insane, but since we're not changing anything, we don't need to save it. And we're going to go ahead and uh, and start off with some single player. I played the tutorial, which is basically in the first chapter of the campaign. And it doesn't look like there is, you know, a super large amount of campaign there is to do. But uh, there's a guy that's talking. Yeah, yeah, so you're just, you're, you're saying, the, the, yeah, the narrator's just saying what there is right here. Great, thank you, thank you, buddy. Okay, so we'll jump in in just a second, uh, but before we do, uh, yeah, it doesn't look like there's too much campaign to be done, but I, w I sort of want to give it a try, and uh, in the campaign, thank, thank you, narrator, uh, you've got to, you've got to achieve these three goals. Uh, if you achieve one, you get bronze, you complete it anyway, and if you get three, you get three, all three things done, then, uh, then, you know, you get the gold medal, the big gold medal. You can see all the starting stuff here, and we'll jump right in. Yeah, not good. Not good. Not good. So, I don't know who was behind it all. Oh no! No! mysterious role the beginning of a personal vendetta oh no famous shipping boss after bankruptcy oh no Alaska. so this was me in the first one apparently trans ocean shipping uh i think this was the the whole story you know yeah all right all right let me let me explain stop talking let me let me explain i know you, you want to tell a good story i want to tell a good story too yeah, me too. I'm glad you found me. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I want to get this guy out of jail who apparently we played in the, the first game or something. We had some sort of relationship with him in the first game. Alright, great. You can read that if you want. There we go. Alright. Yep. Let's make Anchorage our home port. That's a really good idea. I like that. But yeah, basically this follows on from the first game, Trans Ocean Shipping, and this is the second. And this is our headquarters. And this looks gorgeous, okay? Apart from the like the polarized thing over the top of it, you can kind of see what it looks like not here. Um but yeah, okay, let's create some headquarters. Boom. That's what I call that is a nice office. What? Two hundred. We, we had <laughs> we had ten million euros, and we decided to spend two million on an office. Like, what's wrong with like working from your spare bedroom or something? <laughs> two million on headquarters. Yeah. Would I like an introduction to the game? No. Yes, I would like to skip the tutorial because I can perfectly explain exactly how it's going to go. So here we are. 
Anchorage is our HQ. This is where we are. Let's go and have a look at the contracts that we can get. This is our ship, by the way. You know, you can see our ship is called the Cayman. Cool. All right. Let's go and have a look at the contracts. So, this is the contracts. Just wanted to introduce myself. Oh, goody. Clark Masterson. Of Mas Clark Masterson. That sounds that more obnoxious than Orbital Potato. Good. You're my competitor. Great. You don't care. Great. Awesome. Fantastic. So, this is the contract screen. And this... Yes, 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 thank you. And this gives us a whole bunch of different routes that we can take. You know, this is our starting destination. And, you know, it shows you all of the possible places that we can actually go. Now, this is time is ticking, by the way. Uh, so we're actually going to choose three contracts. Now, three contracts are all going to be going to the same place. They're all going to be going to Metro Vancouver. Um, select the destination. We want to go to Metro Vancouver. And then... Let me just have a quick look at this. So, if we load these contracts, how slowly can we go? We'll get there in six days. Okay, so this is how long it's going to take for us to get there. It's going to take us six days cruising at uh, 12, I don't know, kilometers nautically or whatever it is. Uh, this is how much fuel that it's going to take to get to where we need to go. Uh, it doesn't matter how many contracts you load onto the same boat. They always take the same amount of fuel. This is the space, basically, that you've got on board. It's 300-something units. It's a, it's basically a shipping container or something, like 300 shipping containers. And this is how much they all weigh. So our boat has a maximum weight, uh, and, our, and our boat also has a maximum cargo volume as well. So that's worth noting. Uh, let's load this contract... Let's do it. Let's confirm the signature. Great. And let's cast off. Let's go there straight away. We're actually going to speed the ship up just a smidgen. Now, the faster the ship goes, unfortunately, the more fuel that we actually end up using, which is a little bit annoying. But that's just one of those things that I, I guess that we're going to have to, to make do with. And because I'm explaining sort of every step of the process, uh, time is passing a little bit quicker than, uh, than I was anticipating. But as you can see, we hover over the Cayman. It's uh, it's showing a route quite handily all the way over to Metro uh, Vancouver, and you can see right now that in the in the North America Western area, we've got Mr. Masterson Inc., who's a jerk, and we've got us who are the winners. That's right, we are absolutely going to be the winners. Uh, so you know, there we go. We can speed up time. We don't really care about. Uh, Anything, anything else, we'll put it into one time speed just as you're about to get into the port. And fingers crossed, we should manage to uh, to achieve all of our contracts. Now, there is a penalty if you uh, if you don't manage to get your contract delivered to the deadline. Obviously, the deadline is... Do, 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 do. The deadline is this number here. So that's the deadline right there. And then that is the uh, time to the destination. Uh, okay, great. So we got literally 2 million. So we got the cost of our HQ back. Now, if we go down here, we can see exactly uh, what happened. We made, on average, uh, minus expenses, 1.85 million euros, which is not bad. And this is a nice little, uh, very graphically friendly, actually, way of, uh, of showing exactly what's going on. For example, bonuses, you can see this is how much we made. This is how much were the tugboat fees. This is how much we lost in fuel. Yada, 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 yada. It's pretty much how it is. And these are the contracts that we actually managed to deliver. Good. Pretty happy with that. Contracts delivered. Yeah, okay. To the port. Let's go to the let's go to the port. And uh, I want to note that this game is on ultra settings. So, you know, it looks really, really nice. It really, really does look very, very nice. Uh, excuse me? Can we not go uh, to the port? I would love to go to the port, actually. There we go. Let's go back to the port. And we can see the list of contracts that we have. We have zero contracts loaded right now, which is fine. Uh, if we have a little quick click on the ship, you can see that it is uh, needing to be fueled up, so we can do that. And this is a really, really nice feature right now. So it shows you the minimum global price of fuel, it shows you the maximum, and it shows you the price of the port that you're actually in. So I feel completely happy at fueling up. It's going to cost us a little bit of money, but you know what? We'll take it. We'll deal with it. Let's go and have a look at some more co uh, some more contracts, shall we say. Uh, can we load up with all of these Los Angeles contracts? 
No, we need to sort by bonus. Can we even get to New Orleans? No, I think that that is it's too much fuel. And we've currently only got a second-hand ship, so... Uh, unfortunately, I, I don't think that we're going to be able to, to get to where we want to go. Maybe Los Angeles is the, uh, the best place to go to. But then we'll have to... Yeah, okay, so I think we'll need to optimize to try and make sure that we, you know, get in as much money as physically possible. You know, we always need to look for the bonus. Uh, it's also worth noting that we get an extra large bonus for uh, short-term contracts because it's on a tight, desti a, a tight destination, because it's on, uh, you know, a tight deadline. So let's confirm. Let's do it. Let's do it. And let's go to Los Angeles. Cast off to Los Angeles. Can we go any slower? Uh, I think we should be fine, you know, to go a little bit slower than we currently are. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's cast off. Let's disappear. And let's go back to the map. Hey, what? Why did I lose uh, 30 grand there? Cast off fees? Probably something like that. But yeah, we're going to be trying to, uh, to give the campaign a wee shot. And uh, we'll see what happens. These are the goals that we need to achieve. There's a whole bunch of stuff that is not unlocked at the moment because this is the first... Uh, chapter, so to speak, and yeah, you know what, I, I can I can say that I think we're doing pretty darn well. Now, this is obviously a game that has not only got single player in mind, this is a game that has multiplayer in mind too. There is a fully fleshed out multiplayer uh, that, uh, that I haven't really had time to muck around with yet, but it's certainly something that I'm going to be playing. And I just, I just sort of love this game when, you know, love this genre of game that, uh, that involves you mucking around and creating your very own, uh, your very own company. So I think we just made a shit ton of money from this. Uh, let's go to the port and have a little look and see what is going on over here. Holy cow, this place is gorgeous. This place is really, really nice. Let me quickly just check how much money we made overall. Uh, contracts delivered. Well, that journey was a catastrophe. How was this journey a catastrophe? Pretty sure that we made money here? What? How did we lose money? This is confusing me. Yeah. We've only got one ship. We're in Los Angeles. So what's the issue here? We've got two contracts that are going to Anchorage. Oh shit. Select destination. Let's go to Anchorage. Uh oh. How did I miss that? Did I did I fuck up? Well let's go to three times speed and go to Anchorage. We're gonna be very, very late with those contracts, so uh that is a big problem. Also looked like there was a little bit of a tugboat, a, a tugboat strike going on, which is a little bit annoying. Yeah, we ended up losing, like, uh, a little bit of money there. Okay, well, did I just completely fuck up? I think I just completely fucked up there and didn't read the, the, the place that the contract was supposedly uh, going. Uh, no, we shouldn't have any anything loaded right now. Let's just go into the port and see what's, uh, see what's hip and happening. I just love how this game looks. Doesn't it look beautiful? Doesn't it look beautiful? I mean, look at all that. The frozen ice on the on the, on the the window. The, oh, it's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, all right. We've got zero things loaded right now. This is less than one day, and it's going to take us a heck of a long time to get there. We're not going to accept this contract because that is dumb. Uh, yeah, we'll just accept these three, I think. We'll head over to Metro Vancouver. We'll take our... A nice sweet time cruising. Well, we're not going to be able to actually load the contracts, confirm, do it, cast off to Metro Vancouver. Let's do it. So, as uh, as you may be aware, we've already sort of checked our goals, but just to go over them again, deliver at least 20 contracts on time. And we've got 78 dues, day, 78 dues, 78 uh, days to do so. Deliver more on time contracts than all other rivals. Is that the silver medal? I think we may well be doing that. Uh, but it's just have a, uh, have 10,000, no, not 10,000, 10 million euros more in your account than your rivals. I have no idea, by the way, why we are, uh, you know, we're effectively uh, a shipping company that operates within the United States. And for some reason, we use euros as our primary currency. That makes complete sense to me. But uh, hey-ho, don't know why, don't know why, uh, don't know why that happens. But I bloody well love this game. And, you know, just think, we've got the whole world to explore. The whole bloody world to explore. Hugely exciting. 
Contracts delivered, three contracts delivered, fantastic. Great. Okay, there's nothing on the boat at this current moment in time. Though I could really do with, uh, maybe, maybe we go back to Anchorage, actually. Yeah, I can totally do that. We'll take some, uh, some of the most expensive ones. No, we're only going to be able to get two to Anchorage, I think. Well, that's okay. Uh, oh, crap, we actually need to fill up on fuel. That's a little bit of a, a pest. There we go. Full of fuel. A little bit expensive, but you know what? No bother. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. Okay, Anchorage, you, you. Uh, no, Anchorage, you and you. Yep, so this is going to net us pretty much the most possible money that we can get. Let's slow the boat down a little bit just to make sure that we... Uh... Oh, crap. Load contracts. Confirm. And cast off. Alright, we might not actually make this one. We might have to pay a little bit of money, but we're still going to get a shit ton, so I'm not too, too worried uh, by that. Okay. Let's see if we actually do manage to get there on time. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. There we go. Bonuses. Lots of bonuses. That's what we like to see. Lots of bonuses. Very, very little expenses. And we make shit tons of money. Which is awesome. I mean, that's literally the best way to go into business. Uh, no, we're not going to accept this contract. This is a stupid contract. Doesn't really matter. Uh, we can fill up on fuel. Which is probably what we should do. Fill up on fuel. Uh, our, the conditions of our boats is, uh, is kind of fine at the moment. But I believe that there is something that you can do to uh, to top up the condition of your boat. It's just not something that we've been introduced to in the campaign as of yet. Uh, not very much, not very much contract stuff on offer, is there? I mean, there's one to LA in 12 days, which we could totally take. Uh, but I think I'm just going to wait until these contracts sort of take over, and perhaps we get introduced uh, to some new ones. Because currently we can really only uh, operate down the western side of the United States, which is kind of a little bit of a problem. Uh, as soon as this contract ticks over, I think we'll try and make our way towards the Metro Vancouver. Metro Vancouver? Is that the name of the... I presume that's probably the name of the port. Maybe we just go, actually. Let's just load in and... Uh, let's just load in and go. And cast off to Vancouver, I guess. I'll give it a shot. Why not? There we go. So yeah, we're basically just running a couple of routes from uh, from Anchorage to Vancouver to Los Angeles. Haven't actually gone to Mazanillo, which is, I would assume, Mexico City port or the main port for Mexico City, but I just do not know. Uh, we're still on silver medal. Have 10 million more in your account than, uh, than all your rivals. Eh, it's not something that we can confidently say we have. There's a tugboat strike, but... Uh, it's a little bit of an annoyance. Didn't make as much money there, which is a little bit, a little bit annoying. Kind of sucks, but whatever. Let's look for some more contracts. LA, yes, I want to go to LA. Let's take a lot of short-term stuff. Um, what's the best value stuff to take? Yeah, this I guess. Oh, then we can take that one as well. Okay, well, I guess we'll take these three contracts to uh, to LA. We'll fill up a little bit on fuel. It's pretty inexpensive. We'll... Oh, that's Anchorage, actually. Great, let's go to LA. I Yeah, I need to make sure that I don't do that. I just see the flag and it's like, boom, tunnel vision. But no, I can't do that. Can we slow the ship down a little bit? Let's, yeah, let's slow it down to that. And cast off. Beautiful. So that's what I'm... That's the mistake that I made before earlier. Uh, it's just that I, I go straight into tunnel vision and I can't see the difference between Anchorage and uh, and Los Angeles. Even though that there is a very, very, very clear uh, difference between them. We should make an absolute shit ton from this, actually. This is going to be awesome. What are you saying? I just great. The tugboat company in Los Angeles is on the strike and my ship is going to have to wait for another two days. I don't give a damn, buddy. I don't give a damn. My ship should be coming into Los Angeles around about the time the tugboat strike is ending. Which is kind of nice. See here that there's the Panama Canal as well. 
pretty darn cool. Beautiful. Make loads of money. Pay a little bit in tugboat expenses and whatnot, but overall a very, very successful, uh, successful mission there. Man, don't you just love the port of LA? It looks gorgeous, doesn't it? Really, really does. Really, really does. Um, should we should we take a little uh, a little gander down to to where I presume is Mexico City? I mean, look at the amount of money on uh, on offer for this. That is crazy. And it's yeah, but the the deadline is very very slim. I will take all these contracts, I guess. I guess we'll take this one as well, since we can. Load contracts. Let's go at full speed. Cast off. There we go. We'll give it a shot. Now, we are going to technically lose, like, a lot of money per day uh, that that contract doesn't arrive. Like, there was one contract that we took there uh, that... Do we have a look at them? No. No. We don't have... Uh, I can't I can't view them because I'm an idiot and I don't know how to view it. But there is... There was one ca there was one contract that we took on board that I know that we couldn't meet, right? Like, we're going to be late. However, we're only going to lose... Uh, what is it? 100,000 per day that it's late. So we should end up with, like, a grand total of still, like, 800,000 euros profit. So I think that that is still a, a worthwhile trade to make, so to speak. All right, we'll be getting into the port. Yep, yep, so we lost uh, 139,000, but, you know, we gained tons and tons of money, which is awesome. So, you know, we can be we can be kind of happy about that. We're making, you know, round about 1.5 mil each and every time. Oh, man, this place just looks so nice, doesn't it? Oh, it's beautiful. It's really, really nice. Uh, Metro Vancouver... Yeah, let's go to Metro Vancouver. We're going to be taking a heck of a lot of stuff. This is going to be a big, big payload. Um, like, wow. Although, apparently, we can't actually uh, get there on one tank. What about if we fuel up? Yeah, we should be fine if we fuel up. Perfect. Uh, what we could think about doing, actually, uh, as we... Yeah, we can actually take this super slowly here. We'll go at 10, just to be on the safe side. And we'll cast off. You know, something that we could do is that we could say, you know, we could take a lot of contracts from Anchorage and we could take a contract from uh, from Anchorage to Metro Vancouver and we could take a contract from Anchorage to Los Angeles. And then we could just go from, you know, Anchorage to Vancouver and then down to Los Angeles and, uh, and work it like that if we wanted to take multiple contracts to different places. Just an idea if we really wanted to. It's not something that is hugely important for us three million wow we made 2.7 million overall on that that is crazy that is amazing that is astounding that is very very good we can be very very happy about that do we want to go back down to mexico city I and mean, we could go to havana i suppose couldn't we oh we need to slow down time i mean there's not very much money in the contracts that we're that are going towards Anchorage. Like we should probably abandon Anchorage, even though it is our headquarters. Uh, Halifax is way too far away. Okay, so a lot of stuff is kind of out of our reach. Could go to Havana. It would take us very, very far out of everything, though, which is not great. Can we get to Havana in less than ten days? Get to Havana in like fifteen days. What's the what's the price? 100,000 contractual penalty penalty for day overdue. I don't think we're going to take that one, unfortunately. Let's go to Mexico City, I think. That's a good idea. Uh, we could also take the contract to go to Havana. So we can take those on board. Huh, okay, yeah. So we'll take Mexico City, Havana... And I think that we'll we'll go with that. I mean, we could take some more stuff, but I don't think that we really want to. Let's load these. And let's go to Mexico City, and then let's go to Havana. All right, chapter ends in 10 days. That's, that's fine for us. I mean, we're not going to exactly win the game, but we're going to do not too badly. And I feel that this is justified considering I've been sort of explaining to you guys what's going on. All right. Let's go. 
three days, we need to go to Mexico City. Do we have anything else for Havana? Uh, not, not to Mexico City, to Havana. Yeah, so this is what we can do. We can, like, load contracts up and then we just, we go to Havana. Consumption too high. Whoops. Fill up. Uh, this is very expensive fuel, but that's fine. We'll cast off. We'll head over there. Great. Now, the chapter will probably end. I know, right? I know. I'm a, I'm a pro. Yeah, hang in there. Hang in there. Well, we got a bronze medal. You know, we were almost up to the to the silver medal, but that's not too bad. I'll I'll take that. I'll take that any day of the week. That was pretty darn good. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be moving on to chapter two in the upcoming episodes. But yeah, this this is this is it. This is the awesome awesome game that is Trans Ocean Two Rivals. I love it. I'm absolutely in love with it. And you know, there's a multiplayer, um, which is really really cool, which we're gonna be you know diving into as well. Thank you. Understood. Yes. Uh, at the moment, there's there's not any games on because I'm playing this before the game actually releases. Uh, single player. There's an endless game, which is really really cool. Uh, there's a competition, which we can. I presume it's like a skirmish. Uh, you play it against AI. Also super 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 cool. But I just wanted to show you guys exactly what was going on, and uh, to do that, we're going to be playing through the single player campaign together. Hopefully, you will join me in the next episode. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, my name, of course, has been Over the Potato. This has been Transocean, Two Rivals, and I'll see you next time. Bye.